Hey everybody, it's Al with Bobcad. So today I wanted to talk about a two-axis wire sample. I have this uh, part that I want to cut out here. I have an inside cut and I have an outside cut. In this case, I used a toolpath pattern, so I made a few of these and then I posted out my code. So uh, I want to go through some of the drawing tools that I used and then uh, also how to, how to set up this job and uh, take advantage of the toolpath patterns. I mean, you can do it with the toolpath patterns. You could do it without. Uh, I think it's actually pretty easy to do this with the toolpath patterns. Um, you know, if I'm looking at my cut order here, I'm going through and cutting all the centers right now. I may want to uh, change the order that I'm cutting these so that uh, it completes one before it moves on to the next. So let's go ahead and get into it. All right. Now, I'm just going to create a new file and a couple of things so let's go ahead and uh, draw a circle so we're going to do our coordinates you know we'll, we'll type in the size of the circle here um, so this one has uh, has an inside uh, inside radius okay so then uh, from here we're going to draw an outside radius uh, Okay, so that should be fine. All right, so we have an inside radius, we have an outside radius. I'm going to join a line between here and here, okay? And then from there, I'm going to sketch another radius on here. That should be just about fine. Okay, so this is uh, the first part of it. The next thing I'm going to do is uh, draw some lines across from here. So I'm going to use line angle. This is going to be at zero degrees, and this is absolute, and that will let me create a tangent. Uh, well, I guess drawing a, an angle at zero degrees works as well, but you can also use a tangent line here. Let me go ahead and do that instead. I mean, we're going to get the same result, but, you know, this is a great tool where you can draw an angled line to an unknown uh, position. Uh, if it wasn't just uh, 90, you know, maybe the top one was... Um, you know, two degrees that way, and then I could make this one minus two degrees, and you can see I can just draw a tangent line just like that. Super, super simple to do. All right, so we have our, our you know, group here. Again, this line, this line here, this is just a construction line. Um, these lines we're going to trim away. Uh, let's go ahead and make some copies. So we're going to do uh, utilities rotate. Uh, this is 360 divided by six. And then we're going to make five copies, and then we'll select what we want to select. And then there you can see they're all done. Now, one of the things that I want to talk about is um, new to the 28, the rotation tool, you can actually move where the center of rotation is. This is a very useful tool in case the part isn't drawn on zero. You can move it and snap it to wherever you want on the screen. Right now it's picking up the snap points, but I can shift click on this circle and I can grab that center point as well. So great tool, really easy to use, but uh, all right, cool. So we'll click OK to lock that in. All right, so now from here I want to come back and I want to trim out some of this stuff here. So I'm going to use Quick Trim. So uh, you can find this from Utilities, Trim and Extend, Quick Trim. And then I'm just going to delete the stuff that I don't need, which would be these sections here. So I'll delete them out. All right. Now once I get done with all of those... I'm going to come back in and delete uh, these parts of the radiuses here. Okay. All right. Now, now that this is done, what I want to do is I want to break this edge. I want to throw a fillet in there. So we'll do arc fillet. And we'll just throw a radius in there so we have a broken edge. And... There we go. Okay, so this is this is our shape. So I'm going to go ahead and select this construction line here, and I'll delete it. Okay, so now from here, what I'm going to do is I'm going to make some uh, some copies of them. So I'm going to do utilities translate. Uh, we're gonna I'm going to drag it out. I'm going to make four copies. I'm going to select my geometry here, 
And then as I drag this out, you can see that it, it's making copies as we go. So I'm going to space them, you know, space them close to each other. Right about here looks okay. All right. So that gives me my uh, sections there. From here, I'm going to just draw a rectangle. I'll make this, uh, let's make this bot, uh, from the left. Uh, minus one, and then five, eight, nine, eight and a half. <laughs> okay, close enough. Looks good. Now, from here... All right, guys, now that we got the uh, geometry set up, let's go ahead and start our programming. So we're going to do a new job, wire job. We'll pick our wire machine. From here, we're going to run the stock wizard. And then in this case, we do want the uh, whole center of the first one. So that's perfect for our origin. And we'll go ahead and start. First cut is going to be uh, two axis inside. So we'll go ahead and select our geometry. From there, uh, we can uh, you know, set up how we're going to program this. In this case, we're just going to do a skim cut. And we'll go to our leads, and we're going to do a point blend from zero. That looks great. We'll go ahead and uh, compute that. That gives us our, our first routine. All right. So the next one, we want to do an outside cut. So we're going to do two axis outside. We'll go ahead and select our geometry here. Again, we're going to do uh, just a skim cut. Let me see what we got. Skim cut. This is fine. Leads, we're going to do point blend. Pick point. Pick this point here. Space bar. And then we'll go ahead and compute. Now, this one here, you can see that it's, it's trying to go over to this section here. So we need to change our start point. So we're just going to make our start point there and we'll recompute. Uh, it looks like this one's set up for a tab. I think I jumped ahead and messed it up. So let me get rid of that guy. Let's delete him. Let's do this again. Two axes outside. Let's select our geometry. No glue stop. We're going to do just the skim cut. Everything else looks good. We're going to do point blend. Pick points. Pick this point here. Space bar. Compute. You can see that it's connecting at the wrong spot. We're going to do modify start point. Move it over here. Space bar and compute. All right, good. So now we have that inside cut and that outside cut done. All right, so a couple of things. Uh, like I was talking about before, let's do dimension horizontal. We can go from here to here. So this gives us a value between centers. So one of the things we can do is add a toolpath pattern. We can do an array. We're going to type in this value here, 1.5625, and then we're going to want four copies. Choose OK. And then now you can see that it programs all four of them. Now another option you can do as well, let's go ahead and delete that, is if we want to do multiple shapes. So this one just has one shape selected. I'm going to go ahead and select all of these. So these are all my internals. So I'll select all of them spacebar. Now I do need to go and set my um, lead. See how it says pick points? So that's if you have multiple sets of geometry, which I do. So I need to grab these additional uh, start point locations. So I have all of those. We'll go ahead and say OK. From here, we're going to do compute. All right, so now we've programmed all of those. And then the next thing we want to do here is we're going to reselect. All right, we got to select all of these shapes as well. So we have all of those selected. We're going to want to modify our start points. 
So we want to make sure they're all starting in the appropriate location, which they are. I'm missing a, um, a point over here, but that's okay. Uh, we're going to do leads and we'll do point blend, pick points. And then now we're going to grab these point locations like this. This one doesn't have one, so that's going to mess that one up. See how it grabbed the last point that was there. I really needed to add another point. But again, um, you know, now we program multiple shapes using two different features. Let's go ahead and uh, point sketch. I'm just going to sketch one over here, which is fine. And then I will repick my points and grab that one there and then recompute. Okay. So again, we did the toolpath pattern, then we also selected multiple features with the same uh, geometry input. Uh, either of these methods would work in order for programming these multiple shapes. Okay guys, I wanted to talk about uh, cut order. And uh, in this example, when we run this through, you're gonna see that it's cutting all the centers first. and you know, though that's not the worst case scenario, it's definitely more efficient to cut the center and then uh, cut the outside shape. So this way we're not um, wasting any movement as we go from one to the next. Now I've programmed this part using the two different features. Okay, and I've selected all my geometry. The last thing that I really wanna look at is the machining order. And with the machining order, this is gonna list out everything that's happening, okay, in the order in which it's happening in. Now, you do have some options to post by individual feature or by operation type or by pass sequence. And uh, depending on how many different uh, skim cuts and rough cuts, th that, that's going to change what's going on here. But for us, we know that we have shape one, two, three, four, five, and then you see it start over one, two, three, four, five. So we want to pair the ones with the ones. So we just move that up in the order. We want to pair the twos with the twos. So we move that up in the order. Threes with the threes. You get the idea. So this way, we're grouping them together. So now when we run this through a simulation again, you'll see it cut the inside shape and then it's going to cut the outside shape. Cut the inside shape and then it's going to cut the outside shape, which is exactly what we want it to do. Um, you know, if you guys have any questions, comments, or feedback, please reply back to the Facebook, the YouTube, or whatever thread this video may be posted in. Otherwise, guys, we'll see you in the next video. Thank you so much.